um, part of the barrier for most communities to establish this because it does have to be a 501c3 or a city that takes on um, the designation. Um, and it does have to have a paid executive director to manage the program. And that initial funding would go towards paying for that executive director, which could then coordinate fundraising efforts, apply for grants, um, organize events, uh, sponsorships, and work with small businesses to establish a, a pay-in program or a membership to help fund continued years. Uh, this can be done through ARPA funding, it can be done through uh, general city funds, and one of the benefits of this program is that once you are a, a Main Street designated program, there are um, a incredible benefits to the city in uh, terms of B&O tax incentives, increased sales tax, increased tourism efforts, and a designated organization dedicated to marketing and tourism for the downtown community. You know that we have talked about the Creative Arts District and it's a program I'm really excited about and I think the Main Street program could help facilitate that and make it significantly easier to, um, to establish because once there is a full-time paid executive director position for this Main Street designation, it makes perfect sense for tackling the Creative Arts District to be a top priority of theirs. And then we'd have a paid person because one of the roles of this executive director would be to find funding. Like I said, applying for grants, applying for sponsorships and other um, sources of income. Events is a great one for that. Uh, and that's